these candles, you'll be doing Orendo's bidding, not yours. So now I am his servant. Orendo is a kind master, only Utko is evil. Can I trust him? She who brought you the totem brought you under his protection. She will turn her spirits against me. Don't fear her, she's powerless. Let her believe she still has her power. You and I know otherwise. At once. Did you call me? I need your help to speak to the spirits. We have already spoken to them. Our course is clear. I want to speak to them for reasons of my own. It is late. I must return to Desmond Hall. You agreed that if I helped you, you would help me. As you wish. The totem is gone! It can't be gone. Well, look for yourself. You put it there yourself. Someone has taken it. You have it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You never wanted me to use it. You wanted it only for your own purposes. We made a bug. You used my powers for whatever it was you wanted. The spirits are angry. They have taken the totem. Was anyone in this room while I was resting? No one. I thought I heard voices coming from this room. I was writing some letters. I sometimes talk aloud when I'm writing. You had no visitors? No one has been here this evening but the two of us. The totem was here when I left, and now it's gone. You are betraying me. I warned you that the spirits would not tolerate the intrigue among their servants. I knew no good would come from this. You have hidden it from me. I don't want it. I never wanted it. I was opposed to it from the moment I saw it. We will see. Light the candles. No. The spirits will answer our questions. Light the candles, I tell you. Yes? It's Philip. Is Emily there? Yes. I found the totem. Can I speak to Emily alone for a moment, please? It was at Irene's? Who took it? Raxel? Yes. Now, when you see her, Tell her you've got a back, but don't tell her how. Say it just turned up. Oh, will she believe that? Irene will tell her. No, I don't think so. She's found herself in the middle of something she doesn't quite understand. Now keep that near you. Jean-Paul. I'll stay with him. You go downstairs, I'll send Susan to you. The totem will protect both of you. You seem frightened of me. Don't be, please. Sorry, remember what? When we were alone earlier, didn't it seem to you like we suddenly became two other people in a, in a different time? There was a moment when I... I did... seem to feel that we had lost ourselves. When time stood still, there was another life. You suddenly became someone different, and so did I. <laughs> no, 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 it was just... Our minds playing tricks, it was nothing. You said you didn't want to draw me into your life. Well, that was only to keep you from harm. No, no, I mean then, in that other life. You don't believe me, do you? Do you think I'm mad? No, I don't think you're mad. Everything's all right. Susan, would you join Emily downstairs, please? Uh, Jean-Paul and I have to be alone. Susan, thank you. It'll work out. Orendo spoke to us without your being here. When? When Emily went down to make a phone call. Tears streamed down his cheeks. That's because I found the totem. Raxel had taken it down to Mrs. Hatter's. You were 
were right. Yes, I'm afraid I was. But we've got to get through this night. We'll look after Raxel tomorrow. As the star appeared. Earlier, the heartbeat came, but Orendo stopped it too. That's because Orendo has accepted you as our kinsman. Tonight, we'll rid you of the star forever. Gagosa, face of Orendo, hear my prayer. Oh, Jean-Paul. No, Philip's with him. Emily, you told me to tell you when I had a... a dream. Yes. Well, it wasn't exactly a dream, but when you left Jean-Paul and I alone to make that phone call, it happened again. Well, who was it? Was it Jean-Paul? No, it, it couldn't have been Jean-Paul, but it was someone who looked like him, but was different in every other way. Well, how different? He was an evil man. He laughed at me and he made ugly threats. Threats about what? About his brother, I think. You see how silly it is? Jean-Paul doesn't even have a brother. He did, once. Did he die? Yes. I think so. How did you know? He wished him dead. He was going to have him killed. What happened to Jean-Paul's brother? I don't know. Well, when did he die? I don't know. Sometime before I came here, he wrote to me, inviting me to come here and study the Desmond books, and then when I arrived, he disappeared. Didn't anybody tell you where he was? Well, they didn't know. And after a while, they just seemed to accept the fact that he was dead. Without any proof? Well, the Desmond family is its own proof. Its history is full of mysterious deaths and disappearances. How long has this been going on? According to the records, for centuries. But even the records themselves aren't very clear. Susan, would you recognize the faces of the people you see in your dreams from portraits? Well, do you have some? Well, I have some books upstairs with family portraits in them. I'll go get them. you doing all alone at the middle of the night. Don't be frightened, little Susan. It's only me. He startled me. I didn't mean to. I guess you'd be more pleased if it was Jean, Paul, or Philip. You seem to be the unpopular Desmond around here. Oh, Court, don't be so sensitive. You're all alone. No concern for your safety. That isn't very gallant of the Desmonds. Look, I'm perfectly safe. Who knows when one is safe and when one isn't? But then you do have the company of our illustrious ancestor, Jacques Elwa de Maud. Look at him. He almost seems alive. Like those eyes are seeing us and those lips are trying to tell us something. I know. I've thought that too. If he were going to tell us something, I wonder what he would say. To live in the present, not to worry about the past, and to use what nature gave us as best we can. Spirits of the dark, demons of the night, are we still in your favor? Grant us the power to withstand deception. Grant us the power to combat treachery. Expose the plots against us. 
Grant us the power to continue in your service. Defy our enemies. Defend our powers. Maintain our link with you so that we can perform your services. O oh, Spirit, protect us. O oh, Spirit, shield us. Do not tempt the spirits. We are still within their circle. They guard us as long as we serve them and no others. The spirits have exonerated you. What happened to the totem? You have been very careless, but it is of no importance. The totem has served its purpose. We are once more within the world of the dark demons. I refuse to continue until you give the totem back. I do not have the totem, and if you have it and are withholding it for any purpose, I warn you, Mrs. Hatter, my powers are ancient. They more than match yours. Desmond Hall, my master needs me. I'd rather you didn't come back here again. You cannot keep me from the spirits that I have, for, uh, have conjured. It's too dangerous. You've been seen coming in and out of this house. Who told you that? I caught. He told both of us. He told me while you were out of the room. Were you listening at the door? I warn you. Do not play me against your friends at Desmond Hall. Hear us, your kinsmen. Send the sound of your drum. Drown out the evil from the past. Drown out the heartbeat with your eternal drums. you say we should live in the present and not worry about the past? It's true, isn't it? Yes, but it doesn't sound like you. Who does it sound like? Someone else, long ago. Well, it's really very hard to express original ideas. Even you must know that. You said we should use what nature gives us as best we can. Isn't that your philosophy? those very same words said somewhere before by someone else. If you pay half as much time about the present as you do hearing what is inside your head, you might not confuse the present with the past. Oh, look, Court, don't be offended. I'm, I'm just trying to figure something out. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Then why did you turn when he laughed? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Court? What's the matter? What did I say? Court, come back! Court, let me help you! <laughs> You've heard the laughter, haven't you? Yes, I've heard it often before. 
So have I. What does it mean? I don't know, Court. You've heard the heartbeat? What heartbeat? Don't pretend that you can't hear that. Why can't I tell you? Oh, just listen. It's louder and louder. Oh, Rex, so where have you been? Does not matter. I'm here now. Leave us. No, he's very upset. I think I should stay with him. I can attend to Master Court. Now go. The star. It's back. Your destiny awaits you. What am I to do? Follow your star. It leads you to what you want most from life. Heartbeat. You can hear the heartbeat, can't you? I hear it, Master. It's like some giant pulse from another being. It's a signal from your guardian spirit. <laughs> it terrifies me. Oh, it's a good sign. It strengthens your resolution to attain what you want. Will it be with me forever? Until you obey it. I don't want it. Do you want to be master of Desmond Hall? It's not worth oh, this. Oh, Master, be brave. Accept your destiny. It will free you forever. What must I do? Remain here. I will send you the instrument through which you will attain your destiny. Oh, hurry. Please hurry. Trust me. The powers are on our side now. Oh, spirits of the other world, sheltering demons of the night, Listen to me. I did not bring that woman to your altar. She forced herself upon me. Save me from your anger. Keep me from her evil intentions. Keep me safe from harm. Grant me only what I want for my happiness. I will not assist that envoy from the distant past. Tell me what I should do. So be it. She will not use your powers for her purposes again. I found several books here with pictures of the Desmonds in them. Susan? Oh, Raxel, have you seen Susan? No, I haven't. That's strange. She was here just a minute ago. Shall I find her for you? Would you do that, please? I have some things I want to show her. Oh, uh, Raxel, just a minute. I want to uh, apologize about the misunderstanding between us. I'm very sorry about it. So am I, Miss Emily. I uh, found the totem in my room tonight. I really shouldn't have accused you of taking it. I hope you'll forgive me. I, uh, I only want to be of help to you, especially now that you will become mistress of Desmond Hall. I'd be very grateful for any help you could give me. You asked me once if I had ever seen that document before. Well, you know so much about the Desmonds, I thought maybe you'd be familiar with it. I recognize one of the signs. The one on the bottom? Yes. I have seen it before, once long ago, when I was but a girl. Well, then you can tell me what it means. It is the secret sign of the Desmond family. According to what I've read, it's the sign of a pact with the devil. I know only what I have just told you. Well, someone must know what it means. Have you asked Master Cole? What does he know about it? Tell me. Only he can answer that. The secret of the sign is known only to the Desmonds. Now give me your hand, cousin. No. No, I refuse. I can't endure this again. Now listen to me. Look at my hand. Now place your hand before Gagosa. Gagosa, hear me. Remove the stigma from his hand forever. Remove the stain upon his life, the mark of death upon his hand. Return it to the spirit world. Never let it come back to him. Doing here? 
what you want. You can tell me something that I must know. Go away. Raxel says that you can explain the sign of death. Remove the stigma from your cousin. Remove the stain from his life. Purify him. Cleanse him. Free him. Forever. I don't know anything about the mark of death. But Susan saw it on your face. No, she didn't. She only, she only thought she saw it there. But Raxel told me you could explain it. She sent me here to find out what it means. Come in. your fault. No court. Raxel sent me to you. 